Hello, Red Door Nation. Funny, Noah, because we get asked that question. Does my door have to be red? No, you do not have to put a red door on your red door house. We prefer it to be red, but we love all colors. We are, we're just diverse, okay? Every color of the rainbow is your choice. Today, Noah said I had to be serious for a few minutes, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do my best. This is a Brunswick. We're down in Southwest Marion County. Brunswick comes traditionally four bedroom, two bath. It has the option of making it a five bedroom, three bath, and you can actually make it a six bedroom, I think, but don't quote me on that. So we're gonna walk around, Take a look, it's kind of gonna be a long video, so you're gonna to wanna to check it out. Also, you're gonna to wanna to hit like and subscribe down below. That way you can see all of our floor plans as we continue to expand our YouTube channel to show you what Red Door has to offer and where we have to offer. So, Noah, let's go down the hallway and we'll show you these three bedrooms. So, Brunswick, all right off the hallway here, off of the foyer, you've got one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedrooms, large uh, laundry room right here that we're still in here working. This one should be ready for the homeowner to move in about two weeks. So we're doing a paint bump right now. We still got to clean it. Some appliances still got to be put around. So all you haters out there, go ahead and comment what's not finished if you want to. We don't care. We already know it's on our list. But more importantly, hall bathroom right here. Again, off the foyer, there's a linen closet that's here. There's, an op there's several options right here where to move this door. So if you're looking at this floor plan and you think something's a little funky for the way that your family would like to flow, we can fix that. The front bedroom, these bedrooms all have a walk-in closet for the guest bedroom from this side of the kiddos. It has the option to take this walk-in closet right here and add a bathroom. You can make this a bathroom and make a shorter closet right there. So that's the, another beautiful thing about the Brunswick. You can have a bathroom in this bedroom for one suite, college kids, uh, parents, uh, live-in nanny, something like that. Lots of customizations, options available. So down here, same thing. Again, hall bathroom right there. You see they've got the granite in there and then they've got the standard inserted tub, linen closet, laundry room, which is also massive. Somebody's working in there though, but middle bedroom. This bedroom would be great for one of the, the little kids, maybe the, the middle child. If you got three or more kids, like I got, you got that middle kid, put him in the middle bedroom. Why not? The other kids will love it. Walk in closet again. See, they can play back and go see you. The kiddo, the kiddo, what are you playing in this house? And there's no shelves in there yet, but they're coming, I promise. Back bedroom. And I'm gonna tell y'all a little secret. When I was a kid, this would've been my bedroom. Why, you ask? No, I'm glad you asked. Because this is an easier room to sneak out of the house if you was going somewhere at night. So if you built the Brunswick and you got a teenager, especially a teenage boy, just know that you're gonna need to um, put some cactuses or something planted outside this window to keep them cats from sneaking out. Another walk-in closet. <laughs> this one's actually bigger, come look. It's like, it's like a jumping jack. Oh, see? Look how big that thing. See? You know, we're doing a jumping jack to get my workout in. Um, third bedroom on this side. So, you guys want to wanna check out the kitchen, Noah? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's okay. check out the kitchen. <laughs> let's see. Oh, before we check out the kitchen, I ain't even talking about the flex room. So, right off the foyer, this could be the fifth bedroom or the sixth bedroom. You got a formal dining room. You can make this a den, um, office. Uh, homeschool, if you're homeschooling your kids, you can add a door right here, a couple of different options. You can also add a door on the other side, which will show you when you come in from the garage. So you can come in from your mudroom into this uh, formal dining room or office or whatever you want to use it for. But look at this, Noah. Look at this cathedral still on the other side of this kitchen. Ludicrous, right? Ludicrous. I don't even, you wouldn't even call this a jumping jack room. You call this like a trapeze. I mean, you can hang from the ceiling. I, I forgot we're in a different vehicle, so I didn't have a tape measure, but that is no doubt, no shorter than 14 foot. Uh, bearing heights, 10 foot. We got this big and screen, uh, enclosed screen porch back here. Massive ceiling. Look at the size of the ceiling fans in here, dude. The back porch, same way. Massive ceiling fans. The kitchen, big refrigerators. You see, they did the full granite backsplash in here. Large island. I mean, really? Who couldn't use this? Got 99 problems, count of top eight, one. Okay, y'all come on right here. Come on, come on, come on. So I was talking about that flex room, so you can put a door right here. So I'll show you the garage here in a minute, or will I? 
So you can come in off of the garage, you can make a mud room, you can do a bench seat right here, so do a little nook if you wanted to. You could do a little nook right here. Pantry. It's a jumping jack pantry, bro. See, you in here eating them snacks, but you know you need to work off them calories, you feel guilty about it, get your Oreo, 10 jumping jacks. That's it. That's how you that's how you stay looking like this, dog. All right, don't check out the garage. Oh, snap. It's not a garage. It's the game room. You, you can turn your garage into a game room, theater room, ping pong, again, classroom. You work from home, office, uh, study, anything you want to. So traditionally, your garage door would go here, or you could do a side load there. They just made it a game room. They got a handful of kiddos right here. Keep at the formal living room. You keep your room, to the, the living room clean, all that space right there. So you got company coming over. It's nice and clean. The kiddos can all stay in here. Their clutter's in here. You close the door, lock them in here. All right, y'all ready for the primary suite? You ready, Noah? Let's get it. Basket, basketball hoop, y'all. Oh, hoop. Number the net. Here you go. Y'all look at this primary. Y'all know my little be my guest, be my guest. Dude, you can throw a party in this room right here. Look, I don't care what you do in your own time, okay? Once we give you the keys and you give us that smile, what you do in your red door home, your business. Big old room right here, though. They got the tray, they opted to throw up the ceiling and the 10 foot in here. They got the, the porch door to the nine, triple windows here. Here goes the, the master primary, the luxurious bathroom. Oh, hang on. His. Hers, okay, again. Your husband's spitting his toothpaste in the sink, not rinsing it out like some husbands be doing. Okay, again. Your wife leaving the curl of iron all over the counter like some wives be doing. You got your own space. Now, who you gonna blame? Who you gonna blame? Okay. Jump and jack shower. Another one. Look at that. What? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You jump and jack. We should call these how We should add a cost for how fit you can stay inside these large homes. Just walk. I'm winded from walking from that side to this side. Look at this closet. You just, you can run laps. No, run laps up in this joker, dude, okay? But, you know, when you put them shelves in here and your wife's 82 um, shoes, may not be just much room, but massive space. Pocket door to help save space right here. Water closet in the boom boom room. Another pocket door here. These are solid core for noise, plus they work better. So if you're dealing with a builder, it's got a hollow core door, it feels all flimsy and stuff, that's because it's a cheap door. We do all solid core in our pockets just because it's better. There's a seat in here. Look, you're gonna have a seat. Take a load off. And he's, see there? It even fits nice tall guys. Six foot six, 250 guys. I mean, it fits them. Good looking hair. That should boy Noah. No, I think that's about, you wanna walk back out here? I think that's about it. Again, it's a Brunswick floor plan. I know that was kind of a goofy video. If you guys have any questions, certainly throw them in the comments. We'll be happy to come back out answer any of your questions, send you some floor plans, reddoorhomesfl.com, check out the Brunswick, lots and lots of options. So when you look at the floor plan and the design your dream home, you'll see some of the stuff's not in there. Put it in there, click the little button, it'll throw these extra floor plans, bathrooms, bedrooms in it. Super simple, reddoorhomesfl.com. Hit like and subscribe. We're really gonna blow this thing up for you guys so you can learn a lot about Red Door Homes. This is Tug, it is a Red Door Nation. We'll see you soon.